And just define for people, what are neuropeptides as opposed to neurotransmitters? So neuropeptides are composed of several amino acids, and they are also used as a neuromessengers, a messenger of neurons. But in contrast to these fast neurotransmitters, they are released slower, but also they act longer on the neurons that have the receptors for the neuropeptides. So neuro peptides are actually very, very suited to produce such long rhythms because you should not be fast, but you have to be slow and constant producing this. And what we think is that these neuropeptides, the cocktail of neuropeptides, then influence the activity of the downstream neurons in the brain and therefore also modulate their activity in a circadian manner. You've got different types of molecules that can be released by different neurons. Some of them act very quickly. These would be like what we call classical neurotransmitters like glutamate. They're regulating nerve neural firing at the millisecond and second time scale. Then you've got things like neuropeptides. They're a little bit bigger. They have a different structure and they just operate on a slower time scale, regulate things over longer periods of time than classical neurotransmitters. Yes. And so I would imagine that a lot of these circadian clock related neurons that are important for that circadian rhythm circuit, they probably utilize both types of signals to regulate things at multiple time scales. 